guess the pads coming on and kind of showing what you're all about out here. Um, I love it. Um, I think that's when I turn it on, when the pads on. I'm not really a shorts and shirt guy because um, I like to put hands on people. So, How do you think you've done and, and how, I guess, you don't celebrate wins out here because you got to get right back up and do it again? Um, for me, man, um, I think I'm progressing every day. And for me, man, it's just stacking day, day by day, day by day. Um, I know I'm going to make mistakes. Um, you know, all this stuff's still new to me. But for me, man, I'm just getting more comfortable and comfortable. And um, every day you can see um, I'm letting it loose. So as long as I feel comfortable, um, I feel like I'm in a great position to just let it all out and play my game that I know I can play. The aggressiveness contagious the, the way you'd hope it seems like everybody's right people's faces maybe maybe a couple flags but um i got one flag today but um for me man um i think you know that's my game um be aggressive you know um irritate receivers and um just put hands on and um stay in the hip pocket and for me man i think me just doing that um, i'm making my receivers better you know um i feel like i'm one of the aggressive corners in this league and i just got here but um, I feel like I'm making them better day by day. So um, I'm going to keep giving them that work. And um, they're making me better on shopping on. You've seen it from the other DBs too, though? It seems like across the board. Guys. Oh, of course. You know, Coach Denard, um, he preached that every day. Um, put hands on, put hands on. And as you can see, um, we start pressing everything. So um, I think that's the that's the model. That's going to be the model of our DBs, you know, aggressiveness and making sure we put hands on receivers and beating them up at the line of scrimmage. We seen Great, man. 38 legendary, man. Um, that's a... That's the guy I was watching before I went in the lead, and he was one of my top corners before I got here, and now he's, he's probably my number one. You know, now that I get to see the work that he puts in, in and outside the building. But um, man, I love carrying his stuff, man. That's a, <laughs> that's a guy I, I, I learned a lot from, and um, that's a guy, you know, that makes sure I'm doing the right thing. Um, He gave me a lot of tips. And for me to just be on the side of that guy, man, all I can say is, <laughs> Those please been through hell and back with me. And um, you know, they are part of the journey of how I got here. So for me, um, you know, that was a big part. And now I can't wear them no more. You know, um, I end up ripping them but going too hard in them, but that's okay. I guess I gotta find me another pair that I get used to. So I took a video of you uh, the other day in one-on-ones when you were guarding Tyler Boyd, and, and it got a lot of attention online, and everybody was trying to talk about how you don't have any gear on. You're like, dude wears no swag. He's just out here straight clamps, no armbands, no nothing. So why do you not have gear on? Is that something you've like heard people talk about before? Um, Some days, man, I just like to come out here and feel loose, you know, um, and just let the, the air hit me, you know, feel that breeze. So for me, man, I don't think... It's about putting on any gear or anything like that, man. You know, I'm coming out here to work at the end of the day. So for me, um, I just came out here again. I just had on long socks. But um, other than anything, I think the reason I don't wear gloves in practice is, you know, I try to work on my hands. So in the game, when I do wear gloves, it's, you know, I'm better at catching anything like that. But for me, man, I, um, I usually just don't wear gear just because I just be want to feel the breeze and get that fresh air and just let the air hit me.